What's up YouTube, Double Tech here and today I'll be doing a short video on how you can turn your iPad into an external monitor for your Mac, PC or even your laptop. This is all done by a small um, application that you can download from iTunes onto your iPad called AirDisplay. Now AirDisplay is for $9.99 so around $10. Bucks. It's quite expensive, it's not cheap, but it's very it's very worth it. Um, it allows the auto rotate, it's, it's basically it acts exactly like an external monitor. And the amazing thing about it is that you can still have the multi-touch uh, the multi-touch um, feature inside it, so you could actually use it. Uh, use the iPad to uh, move things around on it as an external monitor. So all we have to do is basically download this application onto our uh, onto your iPad, and basically you go to uh, a website from the PC that you will be using called www.avatron.com forward slash d. That's www.avatron.com forward slash d, and you download the, this program, uh, the same application, Air Display, onto the computer that you will be using. Uh, that you will be using. It's basically a way of how the iPad and the computer itself can talk to each other. And after you've done that, you basically go to your iPad and click on Air Display. After you click on Air Display, this will come up. You have to go to your PC and what you do is, on top here, right here, you see, you see Air Display. Now Air Display for me is already turned on. If it's off, you turn it on and you click on your device. It will detect your device. You click on the device and soon you will see that both the PC that you're using and the iPad will go all blue. And there we have it. Um, the iPad, the iPad now has been is now an external monitor it's connected to the uh, Mac. And to just show that better, I could minimize this and take it over here. Once I take it over to show that the multi-touch also does work, I can double click here and uh, sorry, uh, you know, double click and I could actually use it here and minimize and maximize and I can even exit the program and even go back and refresh. So it it is the multi-touch is. Uh, you can use multi touch over here um, and also what I, what I like to use this for are, um, is for some uh, is for some applications such as Twitter uh, Twitter is very good even though you can just download it onto the iPad but if you do have it on, on your Mac you can open it it's a small window and it's nice to take it over over here to the external monitor which is your iPad and you know you can use it for your tweets and all of that so basically another thing that's good about it is that you can have two separate backgrounds so you can change desktop background here um, I can change it to whatever I want so I'll keep it here I'll keep it the same over here and then I could go to this to this and all I, I could do is you know just choose something I could just do you know, this shows that the multi touch can be used and I can just you know pick this just a normal, just a normal thing, and then I can just exit it from here. And there you have, you have two different backgrounds, as I will show you in a second. And you have two different backgrounds. So that's it. You can use it as an external monitor. All you have to do is download the application Air Display both onto the PC that you'll be using and um, the iPad. Uh, Nine ninety nine. It's quite expensive, but as you see, it's very nice. You you have the multi touch, and um, it's very good. So I recommend it for anybody. So this has been Top of the Tech on how you can use your iPad as an external monitor. Please uh, subscribe, post a comment and do follow us on Twitter on Top of the Tech. And uh, please, if you have any queries, any questions, anything, any trouble that you're having with any gadget you have, please uh, be free to email us on topofthetech at rocketmail.com. That's topofthetech at rocketmail.com. I will post all the website and the application names in, on, uh, in the information box. So be sure to check that out. And keep following us. You uh, much more videos coming up soon. So please be sure to check that out. This has been Top of the Tech, and we'll catch you later.